Hello, everybody. So this time next week, we'll have celebrated our first public mass for over three months in the parish of Our Lady Walsingham. I'm very, very excited. So what I'm going to do now is present to you how we are to safely uh, go about celebrating mass together uh, in this parish next week and in the weeks to come. So first, uh, it's important to stress that we're going to do a phased reopening. So on the first weekend, the first Sunday or July the 5th, uh, Mass will be celebrated at St Anne's at 10 a.m. only. Social distancing rules mean that our capacity for worshippers is 60 for this first weekend. And everyone who comes must wear face masks due to the fact that we're keeping the one metre distance rule or the one metre plus distance rule. We're going to operate on a first come, first served system. So the first 60 people wearing face masks will get in for the celebration of mass. Now, this is obviously a difficult problem because it means we face the prospect of actually turning people away. I never thought I'd ever have to turn someone away from mass. So please accept my apologies in advance if this happens to you. We're going to try and make this as fair as possible by taking the names and contact details of everyone who wishes to give them, both those who get in and uh, those who don't make it, so that if you miss out, uh, you'll be uh, prioritised uh, the following week and in the weeks to come. Now, the chances of getting to Mass the following weekend, Sunday the 12th of July, actually uh, increase for everybody anyway, because we hope to add uh, a midday Mass at St Mark's. Now, the safe capacity there with the one metre plus distancing rule and compulsory face masks is 100. In addition to plans to safely increase the capacity at St Anne's by a th further 30 places, this puts our weekend capacity at 190 by the 12th of July, meaning that everyone on average will be able to get to Mass at least once a month until lockdown eases further. We're looking to also add a weekday evening mass as, as time progresses and also to establish set times for people to receive Holy Communion outside of the mass so that no one need to go without the Lord in the Blessed Eucharist for much longer. So these plans, two masses on Sunday, weekday masses and the distribution of Holy Communion, we hope to have fully operational by the end of July and we're going to keep that the same all of August and review in time for September where we hope to increase services even further. But for now, let's just focus on how to celebrate Mass next week and the weeks to come safely. So, 5th of July. Remember, we're operating, operating on a first-come, first-served system with a maximum capacity of 60 at a one metre plus distance. This means, and I'll say it again, that face masks must be worn. So please do not forget to bring yours with you. Upon arrival, a steward will welcome you in and invite you to wash your hands with a hand sanitizer that's provided and to share your name and contact number or email. You'll then be taken to your seat. Now it's important that you sit in the seat chosen for you by the steward so that we fill up the church safely. So please follow the guidelines of the steward. Those who arrive after we've reached capacity will also be invited to leave their name and their contact details so that we can ensure that they get into Mass in the following week or the weeks thereafter. Now, once you're in church, things are going to look a bit different. First of all, the camera equipment, the thing I'm staring at right now, uh, we're going to be continuing the live stream. Uh, so for those at home who can't make it, for shielding reasons or because we're at full capacity, um, we'll still be with you in this way. Singing by the congregation is not allowed, but we will still have music provided by Edwin, who will be sufficiently distanced in his two metre, two metres either side uh, bubble uh, for everyone uh, to hear him uh, safely. So please enjoy, but do so quietly and resist the urge to join in singing, okay? And now, if you think that's gonna be hard for you, it's gonna be definitely hard for me. However, there's nothing wrong with perhaps putting a hand up silently in praise. You can do that. No words coming out of your mouth when you do that. 
It does mean that I'm also not allowed to sing the mass parts. If you've come to my masses, you know that I sing certain parts uh, of the mass. And uh, now, because of these new rules, I'm not allowed to do it anymore. Um, you live streamers might be actually be a bit relieved. The readings will be done in a way that is familiar to you. Uh, we'll have one reader instead of two who will come up with a copy of the readings on paper and take them away with them. The bishops say that my homily is to be brief, so we'll see how that goes. Um, there are to be no prayers of the faithful, no bidding prayers, uh, but I will invite a moment of silence for private intentions to be offered after we've uh, prayed the creed. When we come to the offertory, no one will bring up uh, the offertory of bread and wine. Uh, I'll prepare all of this from uh, the altar. We won't pass around the collection plate, as this obviously being passed from hand to hand increases the risk of infection. Instead, there will be two card and contactless payment machines set to £5 and £10 respectively in the church, and next to them two cash drop boxes for you to make your offering. I'd continue to encourage you to make your donation online by visiting royal.faith slash giving and setting up a regular donation. This really, really helps us. But you can also donate via your phone by texting 70470 with the message POLOW, P-O-L-O-W, and the number of the amount you want to give up to 20 pounds. This will be demonstrated on the screen. When we come to the communion, right, things are going to look a bit different. First of all, we're not able to offer each other the sign of peace. So when I say the peace of the Lord be with you all, and you say, and with your spirit, that's it. We go straight to the Lamb of God. However, uh, I'm sure it'll be okay to, to kind of turn you know, to your left and turn to your right and just go a little smile to your neighbor. That never hurt anyone. Um, after the priest says, behold the Lamb of God, to which the people respond, Lord, I'm not worthy to receive you, the priest will then say to the whole congregation, the body of Christ, to which the whole congregation can respond, Amen. We do this here so that communion may be distributed silently. For the distribution of communion, ministers will stand in allocated positions and stewards will invite you to come up according to the one-way system, which ensures that we stay one metre plus apart at all times. And communion is to be received in the hand only. And according to our bishop's guidelines, extended arms. So we keep that distance uh, between one another. After the final blessing, when it's time to leave, the right-hand side of the church will leave through our Shipman Road exit, and the left-hand side of the church will leave through our Berwick Road exit. Now, normally, yeah, you come out of church, you shake the hands of the priests, you say hi. Obviously, handshaking is out of the question. And uh, the guidelines say that I have to go straight to the sacristy and strip off my priestly garments before I can even wave at anyone. So if you want, if you want to see me, and I'd love to see you, um, hang about for a few seconds, and I'll come out and give you a, a, a pastoral wave, I guess. Um, I think that covers it. Um, it's going to be a slow process for us to get back to where we were. Um, but I know we're going to be back together stronger in faith and love than we've ever been before. I think lockdown, as difficult as it has been for the suffering we've been through, will make us stronger in faith and love. So I'm looking forward to seeing you, being with you in Christ Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit, of growing with you as your pastor, as your priest, as members of the one family of God receiving the Eucharist with joyful hearts. Can't wait to see you next week. Bye.